all my merry makers and I just wanted to share some things that I ha received today um one of them is some yarn that I got from my local yarn store that I refer to a lot known as smart one is a delivery of stickers and one is a delivery from Amazon um so we're going progressively not uh yarn related but I I'm all excited about it so I thought maybe you might be excited about it so let's get started so we're gonna start with my smart haul which is kind of small um and that's on purpose uh as I've stated in the past uh I do not need more yarn um and I'm trying to be better about I'm actually trying to get rid of some yarn um more on that tomorrow so tune in um but I also know my limits so when I went today I said okay if I do purchase yarn it needs to be yarn that is kind of special in some sort of way other than just it looks pretty you know it can't be six balls big twist you know I can get that anytime anywhere so I kind of stuck to that so the first thing I bought might not look special to you but it's kind of special to me it is another cake of the 40th Street Pale Aqua um, and it matches the one that I got from Ray's uh, from Ray um, I it is not the same lot number but it is the same color and it's not a tonal or anything like that so I'm not worried about it quote-unquote not matching because I'm looking at it going if that ain't the same color I'm gonna eat my shoe so there's that the other thing I uh, dropped my balls uh, so I also bought now I've never heard of this type of uh, this yarn before uh, classic elite yarns province it is 100% mercedized Egyptian cotton it is chain spun uh, it says it's a hundred grams or approximately 205 yards a uh, 190 meters um, machine wash went gentle hand wash cold it has a color number and that's color number 2664 and these are the same dye lot number okay and these were made in Greece um, now it doesn't have a weight but it does have a gauge of but I would say that's that's a three lightweight three chain spun but the reason I got it was because I thought it would go with this yarn that I got from smart Knot, uh, a while ago um, this is mostly bamboo thought it I was thinking in my mind that it matched this but I see now that they're not quite the same color um, which makes me a little bit sad but there is this one where they're kind of the same color but this is silk um, I'm kind of a snob when it comes to my fabrics or my textiles I try not to mix so there is that um I'll still make something out of it I don't know what um let's see if there is 200 yards in each one that's 400 yards um of a three I might be able to make a nice uh, top for my daughter out of that 
Um, that's not enough for me. I'm a big girl. So, um, who knows? Oh well, that one was a gamble. The last yarn I bought really caught my eye, and you'll see why. It's mostly lilac slash purple total, and then it's got this bright, colorful, almost rainbow, but it's neon. It's cool. And it's called What the Flock Hand Dyed Yarn and Fiber. This is. It says it's 8020 Super Wash Merino. Um, I'm trying to get the sticker off. I should have done this before. Oh, okay. So the other 20% is nylon. It is 400 yards. Uh, it recommends uh, knitting needles size 1 through 3 or crochet hook B through D. Machine wash and dry. Yeah cool and it's called Lady Rainicorn's Revenge now I love Adventure Time so and I love rainbows so <laughs> this is kind of calling my name don't know what I'm gonna make out of it yet I actually have some similar yarn that I got from Lemonade Shop actually this actually might go with some different yarn anyway um but obviously not going to be casting on again with this anytime soon because I've got too much on my plate. Now, for my stickers, uh, I got these from a website called pipsticks.com, hashtag not sponsored. Um, oh. So this is tape. Yeah, tape. This is from their Visible Spectrum collection. And each of one of one of them, come on focus, has some sort of rainbow on it. So these are the stickers I was talking about when I said I was gonna jazz up that pink container. And there's more. But wait, there's more. So we've got Rainbow butterflies, which that makes me super happy. Um, this one is called Happy Mail. Uh, and I thought this would be really cute to put in things that I'm mailing out. Or, you know, yeah. So as like a little, hey, thanks for watching, you know, type thing. Um, these are more labels and stickers with the, with the butterflies. Um, don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I am going to use them. And then last but not least, this is kind of like a to-do slash schedule type thing. Um, something that I've been struggling with is organization. Um, and I've tried to use something like this on my phone, but it didn't really appeal to me. But since this is Rainbow and since this is Care Bears, I thought it might work better. So there's that. And then last but not least is my delivery from Amazon. And it is a set of gardening gloves. And a kneeling table. Um, now I ordered that before I knew that um, my living situations were going to be changing and that we were going to be getting more people in my house. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to have time to garden to be honest. Um, so that might be going back, unfortunately. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of 
unboxing slash yarn haul. Um, join me tomorrow for Whip Wednesday and maybe a little something extra. Until then, my merrymakers, make what makes you merry.